They keep their feet on the ground, even when they dream to fly. They go where there is excitement, but they stay where there is love. In dreams they fly, in fantasies they soar. In this place they become real, sealing the imprints of who they are with the fulfillment of who they want to be. SOS Children's Villages give beyond the immediate needs of these children. SOS provides unconditional love, inspiration, and strength, enabling the children to take their place in our society later on. In its years of dedicated service, SOS Children's Villages has become a place of love for orphaned, abandoned, and neglected children and children in extreme difficult circumstances. Through SOS, they become part of a family within the protective walls of its nurturing homes. Confronted with the suffering of many orphaned and homeless children after the Second World War, Dr. Herman Miner established the very first SOS Children's Village in Imst, Austria in 1949. This was born out of his conviction that help for orphaned and neglected children can only be effective when they grow up within a family and a home. His SOS concept soon spread to every continent, reaching 132 countries worldwide, including the Philippines. SOS Children's Villages officially started its noble work in the Philippines on February 29, 1964. The birth of this institution was ignited by a group of generous people headed by the late Dr. George Winternitz, then the Consul of Austria, and his wife Susie, whose burning passion to be of service paved the way towards the fulfillment of Dr. Miner's vision. Three years later, the first SOS Children's Village in the Philippines was established in Lipa City, Batangas. With determination in bringing a bright future to the lives of its children, SOS was able to grow and develop itself as a protective shelter, a new home for all its children. Here at SOS, we strongly value a child's inherent right to life allowing them to grow and develop according to who they are by helping them realize their potentials while fostering harmonious growth and instilling a sense of direction, a sense of life. Our identity as an institution is grounded on principles that we faithfully adhere to as we act responsibly and united towards the attainment of our mission. SOS mothers are single women who have dedicated their lives to the children entrusted to them, loving them as their own. Each SOS family consists of 8 to 10 children, boys and girls of various ages who live with their SOS mother like any natural family biological siblings are kept together. The family house gives the child warmth and security, being a home for long-term care. The SOS Children's Village consists of 8 to 14 family houses that form a community. At SOS, we constantly aim to improve the quality of our work for the good of the entire SOS community. We expand the scope of our service through support facilities that will aid the growth of our children and extension programs for community development. The youth facility serves as a home to the SOS youth who are transferred at the age of 14 with a degree of continuous supervision to support personal development leading to final independence. On the job and skills training are also provided. As part of the program of reaching out to less privileged families, 
SOS also offers kindergarten education. Quality education is given not only to SOS children, but to those from local communities as well. SOS also reaches out to mothers and children from the local communities through our SOS Herman Minor Social Center for Mother and Child, providing health services, skills training, crisis intervention services, and scholarships for needy children and youths. SOS mothers, after long years of service and upon reaching the age of retirement, are privileged to find a special accommodation at the mother's retirement homes. SOS succeeds in integrating its mission and purpose by training and developing our aunts, mothers, and co-workers to acquire new knowledge and skills essential to living effectively and working efficiently. For almost 40 years now, seven children's villages stand proudly on different parts of the country, housing over 900 children and youths from the regions in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. But the challenge is still growing. So let's work together to make an even greater impact as we go deeper into understanding the growing needs of our children and our people. Guided by the principles that identify the heart of our mission. Driven by what we value the most. Moved by what we believe in. And determined by what we passionately fight for. This is the time to move. Be one in our mission. Let us work together and make a difference.